What's going on guys? I am super excited to bring you the Instagram Pro Plus course where you guys are gonna learn how to build a production ready social media application just like Instagram with an enhanced feature set that is capable of handling millions of users. I'm Stefan Dowless, an ex-meta engineer, and I've taken everything I've learned from working on apps like Instagram, Threads, and Messenger to create this comprehensive course. These are industry guarded secrets that I'm pulling back the curtain on here, guys. Secrets that show how the top 1% of engineers build apps at scale. In this course, you'll learn how to build an advanced production ready application, a framework I've personally used to create apps that have gone onto the app store that cost over $50,000 to build. We'll cover performance optimizations like pagination, server side functions, and advanced techniques to reduce database costs without compromising speed or reliability. When you sign up, you'll get access to the Pro Plus support package, and you'll also get lifetime access to the code and all future updates, including access to the GitHub repository for the project. So let's go ahead and jump into a quick demo of the application so we can get a better idea of what exactly we're gonna be building. So I have the app opened up here on two different simulators, one starting in the authentication or login page, the other starting in the feed view or the main interface of the application, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the authentication updates. First off, we're gonna get a full custom error handling API to handle uh, any sort of authentication errors that may or may not happen. We also have full unit testing coverage for our auth module now as well. And it's completely re-architected to utilize solid architecture with things like dependency injection and dependency inversion as well. And we have a bunch of new awesome signup features as well. So for example, if I go to this screen here and I try to sign up with an existing email, you guys will notice that it gives me an error message saying, hey, this email is already in use. So we have more custom error handling there and more features added to our signup flow. We also have this implemented for our usernames. So users cannot create duplicate usernames in the application, which is pretty important for a social media app. So next up guys, let's just go ahead and log in. You'll also notice form validation here. The button becomes valid when uh, some certain requirements are met for this field. You'll also notice a loading indicator inside of the login button that indicates to the user, hey, a process is ongoing, hang tight while we log you in. Next up guys, we have our user feed here and we have pagination fully implemented. So watch if I scroll to the bottom really quickly, you'll see our loading indicator show up very briefly there and you can see just how fast our posts load into our feed. And this is fully optimized for performance using things like pagination, server side functions and improved code architecture as well. So guys, some more features in the feed that are really cool. We can now save posts, so that's awesome. So we can not only like posts and save them and comment as we see here, but we can also now save posts. And guys, one of my favorite new features is the ability to share posts. So check this out. I can go and share a post with, let's say, Megan Fox, send that. And if I go into my inbox, guys, you'll notice that I have unread messages here. And I also have the ability to share posts with people, which is absolutely incredible. This fully integrates the Messenger Pro Plus architecture, guys. So we have a fully scalable messaging system here, as well as or in addition to the awesome features we get with Instagram. We also get like things like unread and read statuses as we can see here. Um, our message with Thor was read there. And if we go back, we, don't, we no longer have that indicator showing that we have unread messages. Guys, another incredible feature here is the ability to report content. This is an app store requirement for social media applications. We can report posts and this goes to a section in the database that allows you to review those reported posts and take action on those accounts. Uh, and following up with the report functionality, we also have the ability to block users, guys. So this is another app store requirement, and this functions just as it would in Instagram. If you block somebody, it. let's go ahead and see if, uh, let's go ahead and block someone else. Um, I don't wanna block Venom, he's too cool. Um, let me go ahead and see if I can block Captain America here, guys. So if I block him, you'll notice that one, my status for this changes to blocked, and he will no longer show up in my um, <clears throat> explore feed or have posts show up in my user feed. And if I want to unblock him, I would be able to go to my uh, blocked account section in this new settings page that we have here, which is awesome. And we can see here that we've blocked Captain America and we can then unblock him and that will uh, make everything go back to normal. So full blocking and unblocking functionality, guys, it's absolutely incredible. 
And um, another uh, really cool feature that we have is the ability to view liked posts here as well. It's obviously functional in light and dark mode as we can see there guys. And another really awesome feature that we have here is the ability to launch a feed from any sort of post grid view. So I can go to my liked posts and I can click on that and it will automatically scroll to that uh, post in, that f in this sort of feed. And uh, we can do the same thing from our user profile as well. So check this out. I go here and guys, we're not just viewing one post at a time. It sort of launches all of those posts in a feed. And there's a lot of really uh, awesome coding techniques that we use from an architecture perspective with things like generics and solid architecture to make this work. So uh, we also have the ability to view our followers, guys, and we can search our followers as well. So for example, if I go here and I start typing out Jen Selter, I can view, uh, I can filter users in that list, view the people that I'm following. And another awesome feature that we have is the ability to view people that have liked a post, right? So all of these awesome features that we get with Instagram are available here to us in this course as well. Um, notifications module fully refactored to include pagination. All of our user data here is fully paginated as well as you guys can see there. Everything is super, super fast, super smooth, super performant. We obviously get the ability to edit our profiles as well. And guys, the real magic with this application and this course as a whole is not just the new features that we add, but all of the performance optimizations that we make. So this includes things like server side functions for optimized performance, pagination, as we said, and last but not least, massive reductions in database costs, guys. So when you're building an app like this that can potentially scale to millions of users, you want to make sure that you are not just keeping performance in mind, but you're also keeping cost reductions and optimizations in mind as well. So it doesn't break your bank account. So at the end of the day, guys, this app here is the real deal. Like I said, I've used this app as a foundation to ship apps to the App Store that cost over $50,000 to build. So this course is so much more than just building a social media app, guys. It's a masterclass in advanced app development that's gonna take your skills to the next level. Whether you're looking to land high paying contract work, secure a job at a top, a top tech company like Meta, like I did myself, or finally bring your own app ideas to life on the App Store, this course is gonna give you the tools to make that happen. By the time you're done, you won't just have a portfolio ready project. You're going to have the confidence and skills to build apps at a professional level. So what are you waiting for, man? Let's take your app development journey to new heights together. Go ahead and sign up for Instagram Pro Plus now, guys. The link is in the description. It's available at stephancodes.com in the courses section. And you guys will see that right here. So I know the price point is a little bit higher on this course, guys, but with the amount of value that you are getting here, it's actually a great deal. Imagine if you get a contract where you build an app like this for 20, 30, 40, $50,000, and you only have to pay a thousand bucks to learn how to do it. Going pro at something costs money, man. And if you guys are serious about taking your skills to the next level and actually turning this into a career, and you're willing to work really, really hard to get there, this is where you wanna be. So we hope to see you in the Pro Plus course, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out.